Oh dear me, now then YouTube, how are we doing? <laughs> Apologies for the camera angle, I'll sort it out in a sec. Forgot my tripod, Anna. Usually I've actually got a clamp fixing on me as well, but I haven't this time. We are here, we are out. We are fishing. I've been moving out, which is why I've been vacant for a little while. I do apologise. We are here, we are out. It's a beautiful day. We are out at Dimlington. So camera angle's gonna be wonky, and I apologise for that. I'll do the best I can. Hopefully the audio's okay. I can't see the screen. I can't see anything. So let me just get the camera angle set up and I'll be right back with you after the credits. Right, hopefully that's a bit better for you. Hopefully you can see the rod tips, etc, etc. First cast out, there's no setup time lapse, because like I said, I didn't have my tripod to set you up on. And I wanted to get fishing, I'm not going to lie. There's not a lot been going on with rods. There's a lot of tide noise. There's a lot of crabs apparently. Apparently we've got a bit of a crab problem today. So, it will be sort of in and out fresh baits. So these have been out. About 10-15 minutes, I just want to get some sunblock on, then I'm going to have to reel them in to check them. But, as always, just need to tidy up my peg. There has been a couple of bangs on the rods, but I think it was tide noise. I think, I'm pretty sure it was tide noise. I'm not on personal mics because, well, quite frankly, I like not using them. Guess what I've got, honestly. I like not using the personal mics, although they do get that sound for us. They, uh, they're cumbersome, they're a bit of a pain to use, and they give me, which is kind of the purpose of them, but they give me zero ambient noise, and I like a bit of the sea noise. I have looked at other options, and it's something that I'm going to investigate further with regards to recording two audio files, but all expense and it's just expense I can't afford at the moment so let's uh, get some sun cream lotion on sometimes some sunscreen on being a ginger the sun is a uh, <laughs> Sun is not my friend. So hence the baseball cap. My bald spot. And the sunscreen. to look after yourself when you're fishing so there we go sunscreen applied put that away now and let's have a look at these rods wow that's been fun
there's still worm left on this. So, hopefully, I don't have a crab problem. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to butt it up with some lard, some more worm, because... Well, I can't do it, can it? What are you thieving again now? Put your tape back! <laughs> Yeah, I'm just at the moment, I'm just fishing with two ragworm on a two up put down and just some squid on the on a hair rig. Um, Shane, the holders pod father, very kindly brought me a hair rig. So I've had a go at tying them and I, I wasn't overly happy with what I was tying so it's probably one to have a look at uh, so hopefully I don't lose it because it's, uh, it's one that I want to copy but his success on his hair rigs Jane has had some really cracking sessions on the hair rigs. If you're not subscribed to it, please do head over to the whole podcast to subscribe because the sessions he's had rigs they're well deserved plus the hours. Um, but they're cracking sessions. And to say he's had a couple of them. We've got a couple of couple of a couple of a couple of hours of really good viewing over there. So when you watch this, I'm going to viewing over here's crap because I don't catch any fish. Head on over to Shane's channel. He's just next to me at the moment, just down the street from me a little bit. So hopefully, all these really cool to see some fish today. The colour's just come back into the water, it's been, it's been, the water's been blue for the best part of the week and a half. Uh, the colour's just washed back in today, which is good. It's what we were hoping for. As per usual, I'm fishing one, the, the clip down rig, with just size ones on it. That's fishing quite close in, and the hair rig is my distance rig today. I believe that's got a 2 or circle look on it. But, we're out, we're fishing. I'll do first time lapse of session. I'll talk to you in a bit, hopefully with a fish.
There we go, it's not, I'll just come back to you just quickly. So far, for me, nothing doing. Marcus has pulled out of something really big, which secretly I'm happy about because I think it looked like he had a ray on. And if he bags a ray before me, I'll be disappointed. Oh, little wobble wobble. Little wobble on the green tip there. Although I am struggling to hold bottom, I should probably go to the seven ounce lead. But, not doing too bad at the moment. Shane's off the mark. Shane's no longer on a blank, he's had a, a nice fish. Uh, I shan't spoil it, because usually mine are out before his, so if you want to see that, you're going to have to go over to the Holdness Godfather and subscribe to the channel. So they are here. Oh! Now that might be a link. Could have also been a lake that bit. We know for next time. But yeah, Shane's off the mark. Mark has pulled out of something nice, something really nice. Fair bit of toe on now, so. I've just switched up. I'm still using rag, worm, but I've just sent a chunk of bluey on the hair rig. Uh, but, it, well, but I did bring it, it bring it in stripped. So the squid have been stripped. There it goes again, lifting a lot. That's just the leg popping. leave that as it is. I'll leave you on the rods and we'll have a bit of a, a short chat. Um, but yes, my vacation, vacation, it's not much of a vacation, but my absence is now over, sort of. Fishing trips now are going to fall within a portability range um, of fuel. We're all feeling the pinch there. So that's 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 the way it is. But I've just moved house, that's why I've been absent for a little while. I've moved inland. Moving a family of five and dog is not a small task. So yeah. That's what I've been up to, that's why I've been absent, that's why I did the long video split over two parts. That seems to have settled now. Um, yeah, we've come to Dimland and Mark I've wanted to check out for a long time. The get down is a little precarious for anybody, <laughs> according to Big Southern AD, if you're not a mountain goat, it's a bit precarious. I don't think it's too bad. Um, it is a bit
bit steep and it is a bit daunting to look at and it's certainly not a get down I would want to do in wet conditions. But this is a pretty cool beach and I can see me doing an overnight or a 24 hour session on this beach. And it, with the shelter from the cliffs, I might have to find out. For those of you that know, you need to let me know. Does this mark fish well in winter? Because with the shelter from the cliffs, I could probably dig in and do a 24 hour session down in winter. I'd need to get a different uh, set of clothing because I don't have anything really simple. Keep me warm all night in winter. But stay tuned, that might be something that that I'll look at doing this winter. Tight noises, waves sometimes. You see, it's a real ripple effect. I bet the lens is uh, fogged up as well. With the sea being on like it is with spray. The devil the way he's coming down now. Mr. Not a Mountain Golf Adrian, what can I do for you? Come and say hi. It's been a bit of a bit of an ordeal. I did spot that you were uh, I'll take a meal. Medication. Medication. Hopefully I'll go on. I've just had a new rod, a new reel. And first three times with a new reel, on a new rod, I've packed up. Oh, lovely. And I thought, I bought a shitter. It's an accident. It's a shitter. What I did discover was, I've never had a reel that fast. They are, they are fast. I mean, is unbelievable and um basically I've had to tell them all the way to the top of the up and now I'm not cracking up. Mind you I'm not casting one sixty yards but <laughs> well, I could anyway it's not by a lot of money. No. Have you out there a lot? No. Okay. No. I'll tell you the wrong way. <laughs> no, baits are getting stripped. Crabs. Shane's had a fish. What was he? What's that, Tommy? No, it's really good. Um, I thought that was a big, really big. Yeah, he big. said it was huge. Really big. He doubled his rod over. Really? But he pulled out of it in the two. As we all do. A bit enthusiastic. Yeah, a bit enthusiastic on the, on the setting of the hook. Marcus would probably do well changing the surface. Yeah, maybe. Because that way you don't strike them, do you? Well, you still need to set it, do Yeah, but you just... You still should get the hook to wind it out. I don't know. Well, they're all in the pin. Anyway. <laughs> so, have you watched his boat? It's hysterical. He's uh, now fishing for the summer of the West Coast of the right? He says, you don't get a lot of, in his eye with that, you don't get a lot of time here. The difference between high tide and low tide today is eight centimetres. <laughs> yeah. That's a turn off of fish whenever you're done well bleeding. Yeah, when you sit there and you've, and you've got a size 3 Cleo circle foot, doubt, yeah. and catching them on size 3 circle foot. Yeah. We stand a chance of them here, but not the size that he's got. I'm only going to keep this one because it's a good one. This one is so fast, it's only 50 centimetres. 
and you're thinking, yeah, who? Sandwich, so I need to take my painkiller. I have a I just I've done something to my left hand that I can't without pain relief I lose all use of my first two fingers. So but I've been too busy moving house to go to I mean I said to Tony and this this beats volumes really when it's about me. I said to Tony on the day we moved since I'm in that much pain, once we moved I'm going to hospital. I feel like I've broken my knuckle. I haven't. It's definitely tendon or muscle damage. It starts here. It goes all the way up there. Feel. I should have knuckle. You should go lightly with the pressure because it really always. Go the other way. Do you get any pain there? Nothing at all. No, it just starts on the ball of the... Um, it comes all the way the down here, nothing at all. It starts there. You've got a brace on your track. And travel. I've got a brace on your track. Yeah. You're the So you've got a nerve touch, it's, it's, it's doing that. Yeah. And you're going to get ten tonight. You need to have that to be positive. <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, 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 mate, you might end up like me. That'd be good. I say it speaks volumes when I say I'm in that much pain, I need to go across. Well, I've got to take over now, because I can't take over. You can't take over. Hyperprofan keeps it at bay. Yes, but all it's once, doing is nasty. Once the move is sorted, I'll, uh, we, I've done the paperwork for the doctors, it's just getting it back to the doctors. That's okay, yeah, yeah. Hey? Hey? Leads in my local. Where yeah, is right. Maybe during Maybe Jerry Clay, give me the chef, you know. Yeah. So I'll go Jerry Week next week when it's not full of drunk. Yeah. There might be 20 minutes when you don't Have you got some sun cream? No, I've got some. I noticed. I noticed, Miss Daisy. <laughs> I can't swing you around to show everybody, guys. Like, so you're just on a sand spike. So, you know, the, the panning and, and all that, I can't really do today. Um, but we should, all things being equal, shouldn't have to move. Uh, the tide, I think, is smaller than it was last night. I think we're on a receding tide now. Um, so we shouldn't have to move up back. I'm set up just on last night's tide line, so hopefully it should be all right. We're about an hour away from high tide now, if the tide forecast is to be believed, although a lot of the tides recently, they haven't been on the ball, have they? Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, little shaky shaky. Little shaky shaky on both of us.
Yeah, the, the, the problem we've been having at the moment, over the last sort of week and a half, is all the colour dropped out of the water. I mean, um, if I can find it, I'll pull. I'll ask his permission first, because John, uh, over at Levo's Angling Adventures, do go check him out as well. All the links are in the video description to these channels that I mentioned. Um, they live there, they're always there. Yeah, uh, Levo's Angling, yeah, he sent me some pictures of, I think it was Kilsey, yesterday. And it looks like something from Mediterranean, it's, it's that, that blue. And luckily, we've come this morning, and there's a bit of colour. But the colour's probably two, three hundred yards, and then it drops back to blue again. Anyway, 
Right, now I've finished with athletic portion of the video. Don't forget like, share and subscribe. It helps me out, especially if you share the videos for me. I'll, uh, I'll pop you back on time lapse and I'll speak to you in a bit.
Well guys, I don't know what to tell you today. They're just not there it would seem. We've gone from probably seven or eight anglers on this beach to four to five. A lot of them have packed up and gone home. Uh, I think Shane's had the only fish of the day, for, you know, amongst all of us. It's been, uh, it's been hard going and the colour's dropping back out now as well. I've just been down to the market who is probably 20, 30 yards down the beach from me. And sort of you're standing in front of him and you can see the blue coming in. Um, so to be honest, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to fish. I do find it weird to not even have seen a single flatty today. Not even a flatty. I find that odd. But, you know, it is what it is. But we'll keep on keeping on and hopefully we can put a fish on the beach before the end of the session. I am narrowing the field quite massively by just using large baits, large hooks. But I spent the first two hours of the session with just two up clappers out. Or two up, two up click downs. Um, with not so much as a sniff on them either. So, you know, I just think it's one of those days where they're just not here. Um, I wanted to check to see how the Coop Smooth Hound Open was going over on the whole, uh, not the whole Coast, over on the Cleethorpe's Coast. Uh, well, down at Chapel. But unfortunately, on this beach, there's no phone signal. So, can't even do that. Anyway, we'll keep on keeping on. And I'll... Uh, I'll leave it recording ambient for a little bit. I think for a bit of a change. There's not much else you're going to see. You might as well have some ASMR at the seaside. Or at the beach, I say. It's not a resort. The, it's a beach. So yeah, I'll leave it. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll shut up and I'll leave it running for a bit. I don't know, to be honest. I've just been down to see Marcus, and you can literally see the colour dropping out in front of him. You know, he's, I know it looks like there's more than there is, yeah. but when you're actually stood down in front of him, he's only got about 60 yards of colour in front of him now. Yeah, you can see him dropping right out there. Yeah. So, I think, to be honest, it's a battle of attrition now, it's how long can you be bothered to fish for? Well, yeah, well, I'm just sitting down, I'm going to give a well, I'm going to really sit down, I'm going to start wrapping up shortly. Yeah. Have we, have we gone far far out past high? Uh, about an hour and a half now. Are we? About past three. Oh shit, are you? Oh well that's not too bad then. I thought... Uh, I knew it would be tough today, especially with that having yeah. no colour in. That's what I've just said to Adrian and Mark, he says look, Today was going to be it and miss. Yeah, yeah. We've had no colour at water for nearly two weeks. And all of a sudden you get a bit back, you can't expect them to just go flooding back in. No, you can't. No. You don't know how long, it's dropping out now, you don't know how long it's going to last, what it is, you no. know. You need a good, we need a bit of a rough up really, don't we? We do, when there ain't one forecast. No, forecast We're just supposed week. to just get nicer and nicer, isn't it? We are here next week with mackerel feathers. <laughs> 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 oh, I might, well, you might be on some of that. Might be able to do some spinning next week if the colour drops so, back yeah, out. Yeah. 
and then I'm, I'm probably going to end up, well I am, I think, heading up to Newcastle. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, middle of August, early August, to go out on my uh, new, on Blythe Pier for Mackle. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Because that was, that was fun. That it's is good, good yeah, fun. yeah. I've and I'll tell it. you what, it's hard work. Is it? But you can't, mind you, you constantly has it out yeah. here. You're in, out, in, out, and in, I'll out. tell you what, I mean, same was with bass that we catch versus what you see in supermarkets. But your mackerel are like that. And I'll tell you what, when they hit, oh. They're like mini tuna though, aren't they? Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, so much yeah. power to them. And if you've got a string of four feathers, you feel one hits it, so you start bringing it in, and then another one gets on it, and another one gets on it, <laughs> another one gets on it. And all of a sudden, you've, you've got four mackerel trying to pull to you pull back down pull, yeah, pull back yeah. down and it, it is so when i last went i went with mick we couldn't film really because it was just the, the pier was full, full yeah, yeah. Uh, but the water was boiling i've never seen out like it the water literally looks like yeah. it's boiling yeah, just with the fish the mackerel and everything yeah, yeah. with the mackerel yeah. force in the sandy a lot um, did you get any bass in amongst them then up that way did you get bass in that way no we didn't ah. um but mike says that's his curse because um, he's never, he's never, he's been fishing 10, 15 years and never had a bass. I do not know, yeah. You do get him up there, he just says he's cursed. Yeah, he's, can't he's catch him. like that, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this time, because last time I did it, I stayed overnight. But this time I'm going to take a cooler full of ice because the size and the quality of the fish, it's a shame to use yeah, it for bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful on the barbecue, aren't oh, they? Though? My my second favourite eating fish yeah. is mackerel, especially when they're on the sides because they're easier to debone. Yeah. Um. But I love them. I love them. But somebody did say to me, you get them off Brid Pier as well. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. You get them at Onsi as well, believe it or not. Yeah. When, when it's when it's clear, uh, Mackleton. I was talking to Mark Thomas. Wait for a fella to drop out. Yeah. He said, pick yourself a nice calm day, go to Mappleton. He says, you'll bad up. Bad up a map. You might have to keep me posted all that. I will be. So, yeah, if I, he's away for a week. But something you decide to do. Yeah, yeah. Definitely be in for that. Something different for a video as well, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, it's, I mean, it's it's amazing fun if they're there. I mean, we, we intended on fishing for five, four or five hours. After an hour, we stopped. Knackered. No. You? We just, we didn't want to catch any more because they yeah, like biting. Yeah. They don't we, come back. I see, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They do, but yeah. it's, it's hit and miss, the record. So we said, well, we're going to have to stop catching because we've got what all that we want. And we don't want to, obviously, we don't want to be tossing yeah, back yeah. fish that aren't going to live. So, but we intended on fishing. We got there at 4 a.m. We intended on fishing from April to late and then going straight round onto the beach and going beach casting. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, after an hour, we had to, we, we packed up because we just didn't want to take any more. Crazy. But I must admit, sometimes it's a bit disheartening because you see, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and pigeonhole anybody, but you see people with big barrels taking 30, 40 fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just think, yeah. you know, and they're not even in water, they're not in a cool one. Unless you're two minutes away from home, they're going to be off by the time. Middle yeah. of the summer sun, yeah. half of them are going to be inedible. Just a waste. And it's, it? it's a waste of perfectly good fish. But yeah, I highly recommend it. And I mean, from where we are now, the drive up to Blythe's only two hours. Not bad. It's not bad at all, that. Man. If you've got a car full, it's only 10, 15 quid a piece yeah. in fuel. Yeah. You don't need loads of gear as well, do you? A little rod and a bum bag yeah, is all I, I use. Yeah, that's totally going to need to take, isn't it? Yeah, little rod, little... Well, I've, seen bought, do, I've seen them doing it with float rods, you know? Cat rods. Float rods. Yeah, yeah, cat rods, yeah. Yeah, I bought a pen wrath off George that came with the reel. It was 80 quid. Oh, and he threw in a load of daylights and feathers. Yeah. And he probably threw in as much gear as what rod were worth. But that's George. Um, yeah, literally just a bum bag with some extra rigs in, some little one ounce and two ounce leads if you yeah. want if you want them, you don't have to use them. You can put a dexter wedge on it, which is what I ended up doing. Yeah. And um, that's it, that's 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 all you need. Yeah. And your rod's on the eight foot. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, lads, he's got, a, he's got like a little stove, calf stove pin rod. Yeah. Very well down foot, something like that. So, I probably should take that. Take that <coughs> one. I mean, if you come on stuck, I've got a spare. Oh, nice one. Yeah. I'd love to get that gone, so, yeah. But if Mark says, you know, keep, you know, if someone says to you, you know, it's time's right now. Yeah, well, I'll keep, I'll, yeah, we'll do. I'll keep an eye out. Because he said, just let the colour drop out, let it go clear. Get it on a flat cam there, just to get some down there. So, as soon as he, uh, or I hear it, or he says it, I'll, I'll be with up there. Even when colour drops out, if there's plenty of motion on sea, no fishing for bass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, here around the sea. Have you been to Mapperton? No. No. You walk down the slope and you, you, everybody cuts to the left because it's, there's a bit of an alcove here, a bit of a curve to it. But that's where the, the mackerel and the bass are at the end of the rocks, you know what I mean? And if you're fishing there, you'll get them. But yeah, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for and I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, I say, I'm back. And I mean, Missy's in at work at the moment. She's looking for new work, yeah. so. I can, provided, you know, I've got fuel in tank. I can be out whenever. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's all right. That's outside yeah, of yeah, work. Yeah. Although, after the next week and a half, I'll have built my flexi back up, so I'll be able to take time again anyway. Get in. But I've got, to say, a week booked off from 5th of August to the following Monday. Yeah. Well, a week of Monday. I've got to write a week and a day, because it's Bane's birthday on 5th, and it's mine on 10th. So I've got that week booked off, and I plan on trying to do yeah, a fair yeah. bit of fishing. But last year, that was when I went up to Blythe. Right, yeah. So yeah, I right. go on holiday the week after that. Yeah. So if you're off, I'll be able to get a day off work, I'll get a day off work or whatever. If it's all right, we'll have a crack at it, yeah, yeah. Either that or it might be worth, if there's a few of us, it might be worth trying to get up to that that I mentioned earlier, that twerp, I forgot its name again. Oh, don't. Fun with me. Yeah. Yeah, that might be worth it. It's like I said, apparently you can fish that all day and once colour drops out, you can drop shots at your feet off the rocks. Yeah. A few micros, a few little few micro species and your wrass. That'd be nice to get a wrass, I think. Mean, and then you can fish in kelp beds for cod and bass. Yeah. You can catch anything and everything there, I'm told. You know, you get the pretty rasses like you see on yeah, fish lockers, yeah, John's, yeah. like the, the blues and the reds. And, the, the them, yeah. uh, and you get your rays, and like I say, you fish. I think it said you fish over high, drop shotting and luring. Yeah. And then over low, on you beach casting. On sort of rocky kelp marks, yeah. 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 It says, but you take a bucket full of lead. Yeah. But it's <laughs> one of them. <laughs> we like Farley Brig. Bucket full of smooth lead. Yeah. Oh, this box is giving up with my weights. Don't you land another fish? You're not allowed.
Yeah, that was the less savoury part. No, we're not going down that route, that's all of it. I can see. But they leave it for about a week to mature when they're so different. Bit more organized and ready to pack down guys that is last cast from me today um, and quite frankly i'm going to pack the camera down as well uh, because i don't foresee much happening as always if someone does come on the last cast i'll put it on the screen apologies my return has not been eventful and you know full of fish but you can only catch what's in front of you Judging by the amount of anglers that have gone up from here today and blanked, they just weren't there today. But as always, stay safe, tight lines, and I'll see you later.